So you've just got off the plane in sunny Spain after two and a half hours of crying babies, death-defying turbulence and an unresponsive husband who's been asleep ever since the seatbelt signs went on. All you want to do is collect your car and get to your villa. The last thing you want is the hassle of queuing at the car rental centre and going through the inspection process. As a frequent traveller, I rent cars often and I'm going to give you some tips to help your car rental checkout process be as quick and easy as possible. I've learned from experience that the simplest option is to purchase the comprehensive insurance cover from the rental desk. This way, a quick check of the vehicle at the start and end is all that's needed and the process is much faster on both occasions. This is what I always do now and it takes the stress away completely as not only do I get started on my holiday sooner, but I have 100% peace of mind having taken extra protection. Thank you. If you haven't taken out comprehensive cover, it's really important that you take the time to check over the vehicle very thoroughly, as any change in the vehicle's condition will become your responsibility when you return the vehicle. I'm going to show you my top tips for how to inspect the vehicle and what to be on the lookout for. Here's the vehicle condition report, which shows me the vehicle's current condition and notes any existing damage. And here's the vehicle check guide, which explains what I need to be on the lookout for. I need to be 100% confident that the condition of the vehicle is accurately reflected on the VCR. Always start from the rear of the vehicle. Open the boot and make sure that the parcel shelf is in place and that the spare wheel or repair kit is in the boot. In this case, it's a repair kit. Take extra care when taking luggage in and out of the boot as it's easy to scratch the vehicle here. I've made this mistake before. Now you want to bend down and look at the wheels and tyres. In almost every car I get, there's usually some damage to the alloy. Make sure that any damage is noted and take pictures for reference. The lower front bumper is also a hot spot for damage. If you look closely, you'll be able to see the damage. Otherwise, just run your fingers along the bottom of the bumper to feel for any damage. Have a good look around the windscreen to make sure there's no chips or cracks. Dents are difficult to see and the best way to spot them is by standing a few feet away from the vehicle and looking down the length of the vehicle like this, moving your head from side to side and up and down. A dent like this is hard to see but the cost for repair can be pretty high. Scratches to cars are pretty common. I've scratched a car before by driving too close to a hedge. If you see any scratches like this one, Take your card and measure the scratch to see if it's bigger than 15 millimetres and if the paint is broken. You can tell if the paint is broken by running your fingernail over the scratch and see if it catches. If you do spot a scratch, dent or bump that's not already listed on the VCR, go back and find a rental agent to verify that it's new damage so they can be sure to mark it down. Take a few photos of the damage too, so that you have the evidence that the damage was already there before you took the car. Now I'm back to where I've started to show that I've checked the whole vehicle. Finally, hop in the driver's seat, turn on the ignition and confirm the fuel level and mileage. Once you're happy with the condition of the car, then it's just a case of driving away and enjoying the rest of your holiday. Now that you know how easily vehicles can be damaged, I would once again recommend taking the fully comprehensive insurance package so you're not held responsible for any new damage to the vehicle when you come back. Since I've taken the insurance cover, I have peace of mind and I know that I'll enjoy my holiday.